this video I'll be making iron oxalate from easy to get chemicals. The first part of this video you will need steel wool, hydrochloric acid, a beaker, some gloves and some eye protection. When buying with steel wool the cheapest one is usually the better one as it does not contain any chromium. The steel wool I bought is actually stainless steel or something I didn't really realise at the time of buying although the chromium is not really an issue for making iron oxalate. The cheaper the wool the less likely it will contain chromium and you'll get more for your buck. Drop the steel wool into the acid and leave it until all the wool has dissolved. If not all has dissolved, then add more acid to the solution. When using steel for this, there will be a carbon residue at the end as carbon does not dissolve in any acid. As the iron dissolves, hydrogen is produced as a byproduct, so make sure you do this outside or in a fume mode and away from open flames. To test for the gas, you can lower a lit splint into it and it should make a pop sound as the gas ignites. Once it's fully dissolved, use a coffee filter or some paper towel and filter the interval material. In the second part of this video, all you will need is some oxalic acid which I have in the form of timber cleaner which I used in my previous video to make sodium oxalate. I am using equal amounts of timber cleaner as I don't know how much I would need to react all the iron chloride as I never measured the quantities from the start. Combine the two solutions together and leave them to react for a while. This is not really a fast reaction, although this could be due to the fact that oxalic acid is only a weak acid compared to hydrochloric acid, and I might have used too much hydrochloric acid from the start. Nevertheless, I just had to wait a while longer to get my results. After leaving the solution for two hours to make sure I gave it long enough, I was left with a small layer of iron oxalate which had precipitated out of the solution. Put over precipitate and leave it to dry. After it's dry, it should be left with a nice yellow powder. Add it to a sealable container for storage. I will be using this in a later video, so stay tuned. Please subscribe, like and comment, and check out my other videos.